Okay, we're now going to look at how to create uh, a graphic file so from our Fireworks uh, graphic we've created. So this is the graphic in Fireworks. If I save it in Fireworks, um, it's just like any other package. I undo File, Save or Save As. And this will save it as a PNG type file. Those type of files can be displayed on the web in uh, browsers etc. But they're mainly used for um, fireworks itself. So if you save a file as PNG you can then go back and edit it using fireworks. So I'm not going to do that with this particular one at the moment. Because what I want to do is not just save this image uh, as a fireworks file. I want to save it so that it can be displayed on the web in any particular web browser. I actually want to create a GIF file, G-I-F. Uh, GIF files can be used in any particular uh, web application and all browsers will be able to display them. Now to create a GIF file, I don't do save as, I do file and I want to export it. I want to export this image as a different file format. I could click on export but what I'm going to do is go through an, uh, an option where I can actually change some of the options. So I'm going to use image preview. Now when I click on this, uh, I've got a separate window that pops up. The first thing to notice is the format. Now I can choose the file, the graphic file format for my image. Uh, it's actually defaulted to GIF, so I'm going to stick with GIF. I'm going to pick JPEG or any of these other formats which are used on the web and in graphics. Um, that's all I really need to change actually because if I go down here it's selected on alpha transparency. Now this particular image has a transparent background. That means if this image is placed over a red background everything's in red except for the text and the smiley face. So it's very good for showing on different backgrounds or using in text documents etc. So uh, I've got everything set so the formats GIF Alpha transparency set, so now I'm going to get transparent background. Gives me a little look at what it's going to look like, and now I'll just press export. And now this is similar to if I've taken the, um, the save as option, except if you look at the file name here, the extension is .gif. It's going to make it a GIF file, so let's just uh, call that test. And then we just export, and this should create. A GIF file, so that's created outside of Fireworks a separate GIF file. 